So with March ending, we all know as an anime fan, when April arrives, it's going to be a whole new season of anime. Winter 2019 is done, and ladies and gentlemen, we're moving to spring of 2019. Absolutely crazy. Winter was unbelievable with anime series such as, you know, if you ever watched The Rising of the Shield Hero or The Promised Neverland, it was terrific. And I think 2019 is off to an incredible start, and it's just about to get better. So welcome everyone to my spring 2019 anime review. I'm going to be recovering new anime that's going to be dropping here of spring of 2019 what I'm going to be reacting to and what I'm going to be reviewing for this channel so I think I'm going to be doing five or six anime series I do believe we're going to be looking through a chart and kind of describing the episodes or the animes that are coming out and I'm very excited I cannot wait for brand new anime and brand new content it's going to be unbelievable so let's jump right into them but the site that I'm using for this guys is called Annie chart it basically just updates animes that are going to be coming out for example like you have Attack on Titan which is 28 days nine hours before season three part two comes out and of course it shows like how many episodes or what's been confirmed so far uh you know it has a summer 2019 list that has well hasn't updated fall yet because we don't have all the fall 2019 anime been confirmed yet but it's just kind of a nice update site that i personally use for animes and it's really helpful as well but go down the list what's going to be coming here of spring 2019 and what you guys are going to be seeing here for the channel so first things first we have one punch man season two you you guys already know this is going to be a series hands down. I want to do season one. I'm rewatching season one as we speak to get ready for this, uh, you know, new season of One Punch Man. Uh, don't look at the day right there. It says one day and 10 hours. Um, it's coming out April 2nd for Japan only and then available April 9th, I do believe, on Hulu uh, specifically. So don't look at the day right there. Um, April 2nd is Japan release. And then, of course, in North America, etc., it will be April 9th. But One Punch Man season two is an anime that i have been expecting and many others it's one of the most popular animes that has ever come out and fun fact that it only had 12 episodes in season one um people just starting out anime this is like an anime series like naruto or one piece or anything like that which it broke records right madhouse did a terrific job on season one it had the best art best animation i have ever seen the comedy was great the action scenes were unbelievable and we have waited three and a half four years for a brand new season. It's like what I talk about with Damachi or Attack on Titan when we had to wait for Attack on Titan Season 2 or Damachi Season 2 that we had to wait four years for a brand new thing. And that's like us with anime fans. We hate waiting. For example, if you watch something that comes out Wednesday, we had to wait another week for that next episode to come out Wednesday. It just, it's frustrating. But with a thing with One Punch Man Season 2, I was going to make a separate video on it. It's produced by JC Staff. And JC Staff, I don't want to give them crap or anything like that. They make series such as Food Wars and Dan Machi, two series that I have made on this channel. You guys already know that I'm excited for Dan Machi Season 2 and what the contents are going to be with that. I love JC stuff. I think they do a good job, but I think that this is an anime that's going to be oh crap to them because One Punch Man is such an important series with anime, right? It's like a, it's like a Naruto. It's like a One Piece. It's one of those big shows where to have something like this come your way is very terrifying. You know, from the like the final trailer that we got from One Punch Man season two, a lot of people were flaming JC staff for it just because the animation looked like crap. And I agree with them. The animation did not look good. There's rumors going around that this anime hasn't even finished right now, and that the anime is literally gonna be a week and a half away for it being released to everyone in the world. So for with JC staff handling this, I'm very terrified of what's gonna happen with One Punch Man season two. No no doubt about it, I will be reacting to it, but as as a fan of this series I'm very nervous I haven't read the manga so I don't know what's gonna happen it hasn't been confirmed if it's gonna be 12 or 24 episodes but with something like this it's very concerning um, I hope to do a good job I love one punch man I love Saitama Genos and those other characters and I'm I'm just hoping that it's gonna be great just because we, like I said we waited four years for a brand new season and if it turns out like crap it'd be very sad for JC's staff and I'll probably be a little bit pissed as well but one punch man season two 100 we'll be reacting to the channel and of course we'll be doing reviews on it as well so look forward to that um attack on titan season three part two season four whatever you want to call it I i'm going to call it just part two just because that's what it says but i'm pretty sure people will call it season four as well um i know that a lot of people ditch this series just because it's been just i, I would say drama 
that that's really what season two and season three was like. But with season three, I really enjoyed it. I loved Historia's backstory of what her family was, more information about the Titans. And I know with part two right here, a lot of people are excited for it that read the manga just because it's just on action. And that's why a lot of people love season one and why season one blew up in the first place was because of the action. There wasn't really a lot of talking towards this. Uh, bad news for me, it's only 10 episodes. I wish there could be more, but that's how they're going to end this arc of Attack on Titan. And hey, if it's 10 episodes and it's just action based, I think this is what's going to bring Attack on Titan back up to those charts again. It's still popular as it is. I'm still going to hang with Attack on Titan no matter what. But like as an anime, of course, a lot of people want to focus on the action and that's what it's going to be. So I think it's going to be very exciting. It's going to be something that I'm going to react to. Uh, thank you guys for your support on season two and season three of Attack on Titan. It's awesome for this series. You guys love it. And I love Attack on Titan. I'm going to stay on board with it. And I think it's going to be a great part two of season three. So yeah, look forward to Attack on Titan season three part two, guys. Um, it'll be arriving at the end of April. Um, Stray Dogs. I haven't watched the series before. Season 3, I'm not going to do it just because I haven't watched Season 1 or Season 2. I hate that if I do that to start on Season 3 because I haven't talked about Season 1 or Season 2 in my opinion. I'll watch it like kind of by myself to see if I like Season 1 and Season 2. If I do, maybe I'll do a review on it. I'm not too sure, but if you're a Stray Dog fan, I do apologize. But Season 3 is right there. It's uh, uh, produced by Studio Bones, which uh, made series such as Full Metal Alchemist and uh, My Hero Academia. So that's still a really good uh, studio. So there we go. Straight Dog Season 3 if you're looking forward to that. Um, Demon Slayer. This is a brand new anime. Never heard of it. I know that the manga series is phenomenal. I know a lot of people love it and really excited for it to finally get an anime. I want to watch the series hands down. You guys are going to be seeing a first episode reaction to me. Uh, hopefully it's like a Promised Neverland, which I watched the first ever episode and I fall in love with it. Um, it's going to be a brand new anime. Like I said before in my uh, start of the 2019 video um i want to go bored of watching a lot of anime and kind of coming out of my shell like i want to watch quite a bit of anime review a lot of anime for you guys specifically just to kind of not to kind of grow the channel but to kind of more separate so it's not just like two or three shows that i'm doing and then of course have to wait for a brand new series which will come out with a year or not i do that with content with this channel i want to kind of grow this channel more as brand new anime you know kind of just explore options and more details and just have fun with it so demon slayer really looking forward to it i think it could be a really good uh anime and uh, um basically what it says in this title is that there's a boy named tojiro his little sister turns into a demon the whole family gets slaughtered and they want vengeance and for him to uh resurrect his sister to become human again kind of sounds like a full metal alchemist right there of what ed did with al um but i, th I think it's gonna be cool uh it says action adventure i think it's gonna be a really good story and a good anime here for the channel uh fruit basket so i know that this is a really great manga a lot of people love the manga it actually has an anime right now if you want to watch the old one um the only problem with it was I, i'm pretty sure it was popular a lot of people did enjoy it um but it didn't follow the manga and that's what a lot of people hated but this new kind of fruit basket or this new one kind of like what they do with full metal alchemist with original and with brotherhood it's going to focus a lot on that manga and a lot of people are really excited for that like i said i'm going to come out of my show with this i'll do a reaction to it if i do like it i'll continue with the series if you guys like it i'll definitely continue if i do reaction or review but i'll do the first episode see how it goes Maybe you guys will enjoy it. I'm not really too sure, but we'll just go through there. Uh, this series, I'm not really a fan of. Uh, Fairy Gone. Fairy Gone, um, it's going to be just like Demon Slayer. Um, I think it could be an interesting anime. Like I said, I want to go more with shows uh, throughout the season and, of course, more content for you guys here on YouTube. Um, I actually haven't uh, read too much of the description, so... Uh, a world where fairies possess uh, reside within animals, granting them special powers by surgically removing and transplanting the organs of a possessed animal into a human. Humans can practically summon the fairy and use it as a weapon. Eventually, uh, such individuals were used for war, uh, were called fairy soldiers. For a long war, these soldiers lost their purpose and had to interrogate into society uh, from the government to the mafia and becoming terrorists. Find their own path, the story begins nine years after the end of the war and the centers of the protagonist, Maria. Maria is a fresh recruit of 
Dorothea, if I am saying that correctly, an, orga an organization dedicated to investigation and suppression of ferry related crimes and incidents. Even in peacetime, the government is still unstable after the war. Many criminals still have uh, lingering wounds from the previous conflict, and there are terrorist groups uh, bent on revenge. This is a story of ferry soldiers seeking their own justice in a chaotic post war world. So it's a fantasy action. Could be interesting, like I said, just with Demon Slayer. I'm going to react to the first episode, see if I enjoy it. I think if I like this series, I think this is definitely going to be a review series 100%. Um, because I feel like it's going to be a series where you got to dive more depth into more of a review than a reaction. I think a review for this series could be a lot more interesting. Uh, it's by PA Works. Uh, I'm pretty sure they've done some animes here before. Not really... Um, like too fond of PA works. I'm not really too sure of what they have done, but I think it could be an interesting series for the channel. Um, one thing that I'm excited for this series right here. So this is called uh, Shumetsu Toshi. Could be staying out completely wrong. I do apologize. I'm pretty sure that's Lost in Japan, Lost City. Um, but there's 12 episodes airing. One thing's for sure, it's by Madhouse. Madhouse, the one that done season one of One Punch Man, a studio known for their art and animation, which is going to be beautiful. Source, a uh, video game, which is pretty cool. If you like kind of sort of online, this is kind of like a uh, material right here. It's action and adventure. Uh, the description says, one day a town is annihilated. Yuki is a young woman who is said to be the only person left alive uh, from the town after the annihilation. And uh, Takua is a loner and small smuggler together with the letter left by Yuki's father they go toward the town now called lost well abandoned city lost I don't really know about that but but expected obstacles standing in their path the thoughts of uh, those left behind move closer toward the mystery, uh, mystery behind lost so this is a series that really caught my eye just because I think that is so cool from a person that's in a really populated city go into a ghost town she's the last survivor and has to try to find clues of why this was even annihilated in the first place why did this even happen her father leaving messages kind of like an attack on Titan right there but I think that's really cool, and especially Madhouse making this, you can already tell that the art and animation is going to be beautiful for this anime. I think it's a really cool kind of concept of what they're doing, and this could be 100% such a good reaction series for the channel, and 100% I'm going to be reacting uh, to this anime 100%. Um, I, maybe reviews, but I feel like this anime 100% is going to be definitely a reaction series just because um, I, I feel like a lot of surprises are going to await us, like what their journey is going to be with the Lost City, maybe some someone important is going to be in the city, um, how are they going to survive, and etc. like that. Uh, one that I might do, okay, I know I talked about this with Stray Dogs, but Diamond No Ace Act 2, the season 2 of this series, um, this is a show that I wanted to watch in the first place. I love sports anime, like Crook Girl No Basket, um, I know Haiku Season 4 is going to be coming out in fall 2019, so I want to see what this anime has as a first season. If I enjoy it, I think I will do a season 2 of this show, just because like it's not that far behind of a season two i feel like if it shows like if it was attack on titan or stray dogs where they're on their third or fourth season that's very far apart but with season two on the other hand it's right behind it so i feel like some people if they have watched season one will understand of what i'm going towards season two here so yeah and then the rest of the anime right here i'm not really interested in i read the descriptions and it just doesn't catch my eye but yeah so diamond no ace uh you know lost city Fairy Gone, Demon Slayer, um, Attack on Titan Season 3 Part 2, and One Punch Man Season 2 are going to be the animes I will watch for t Spring of 2019 100%. You guys, of course, will see reactions of the first episode of each individual anime I just read and described in this video. Um, and then, of course, such as animes like Fairy Gone or uh, like Diamond No Ace or even... Uh, I would even say Attack on Titan, I'll do reviews on and the rest I'll just mainly reactions. Like One Punch Man Season 2, I think will be a reaction series, but then the rest will be like kind of reviews and et cetera like that. But yeah, everyone, that's my spring of 2019 anime review. I hope that you guys all enjoyed this video. I'm very excited for this season. I think this is going to be a terrific anime one and they're off to a good start right now. I love winter and I think spring will just even pull it further of being one of the best uh, years for anime up to date. And especially we all know of what summer has 
has and of course fall will probably even have something better but like i said i hope you guys all enjoyed if you guys have any other anime to consider or any notes on for example like demon slayer fairy gone if you read the manga um you know show some support in the comments down below um i want to find of course more detail and more pride into the animes and hopefully that it could be fun but yeah have a good one guys thank you for watching and of course we'll see you guys in the spring 2019 season of anime and can't wait to upload more for you guys here on the channel